Come on, some of that. Welcome back, y'all. So we're going to do the energy. We're going to see what messages come out. Thank you, my father, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Source. Thank you for allowing me to be the messenger for whomever you need messages. All right, so we're just going to get into it. Like, okay, so I think that was a woman. Like, maybe a lot of you guys are bouncing between your light and your shadow. I'm also getting things are happening um, quickly for you, unbeknownst to you, behind the shadows. But this is also like shadow work. A lot of you guys want to do shadow work as well during this time. Shadow work is you basically um, diving deeper within self, or like I said, withdrawing yourself from people, places, things that no longer serve you. We are coming up on a new moon on the 6th. The 6th until the 8th here, but the energies are going to be until like the 14th, the 15th. So a lot of you guys can also be, like I said, um, finding out what works for you and what doesn't, right? What is going to be beneficial for you and what isn't. Okay, so I definitely feel like over the next um, five days, a lot of you guys are going to be really, really um, gaining perspective of who you are, where you're going. Okay, a lot of you guys, maybe this was like a withdrawing period, or maybe you guys were shedding a lot of skin, okay, out with the old and with the new, but also becoming more of who you are. Um, like I said, changing your appearance, your hairstyle, um, this can also be like your verbiage, your words, things like that, but I'm also getting, maybe if those of you that have certain ideas or talents or skills here, maybe you guys have thought that people were copying or imitating you here, but I feel like a lot of you guys are realizing like, um, like a newness, like maybe it's like, okay, you're just looking at things and people differently. It's like if they want to do what you do or like copy your hair, your nails, whatever, it's like they still are not you. Um, a coming together of the mind as well. A balance because light and dark, that's yin and yang, that's also feminine masculine. So maybe a lot of you guys are also balancing out your own emotions, thoughts as well. I do feel like there's also a pick up in momentum of like energy. I feel like the last couple of weeks or the last couple of months, maybe a lot of you guys were lethargic, tired, quiet, withdrawn, and I feel like it's like a newness. You guys are sprouting new, where it's like people, they have, um, I'm also thinking like people may have siphoned on your energy or tried to pull on your energy, but it's like things that they're trying to do, it's not going to amount up to you. So again, it's not something like if you have a business ideas, talent, skills, and people are copying or doing the same thing as you, it's like it's not going to amount to who you are because God, your ancestors, your spirit guides gave you a gift. You get what I'm saying? Like your gift is somebody else's gift. Your talent is somebody else's talent. The same thing they could do. They could try, but it's like it's not going to work. I'm also getting a lot of like... um transformation butterflies okay dragonflies energy again i'm just asking for swords by yourself to protect me to read and protect me protect my um these messages right so nothing does it infiltrate for you guys the collective on youtube divine feminine whoever needs this message so i'm just also just going to just ask spirit god mother father and spirit to assist me with being clear and concise for these messages on YouTube, for Divine Feminine, for the collective, for my lovelies. I definitely feel like it's been a long time coming. A lot of you guys feel like it's been a long time coming. Maybe there's newness that are that is happening in your life, like a birth, birth of ideas, a birth of a baby, a pregnancy maybe. Some of you guys can be expecting. Some of you guys can be, like I said, expecting, having a baby, having a newborn, having a new idea. It's like things are coming towards you here. I'm also getting a, a like a sense of energy where it's like things that you may have thought that you missed is coming back around. 
where it's like you're getting an opportunity, you're getting opportunities, new opportunities here, new people. This must be like new tribe, new friends. Maybe you guys are also choosing to hang around different people. If you guys are withdrawn, you guys can also be seeing that it's better to be by yourself and around all these fake ass love and fake ass hate. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, I'm also getting some of you guys are also realizing that you're better off, um, like sticking to your goals, sticking to what you are used to. Okay, it's like not bearing off. So you guys may have been asking whether you're on the right path. It's like you are, but it's like periods and cycles, right? So I feel like the planetary alignments in your star and your star star in your natal chart. So there may have been planetary aspects in your natal chart and your birth chart that caused you to uh, be more quiet, be more withdrawn, introspective. Okay, some of you guys can also be wanting to go back into school. Some of you guys are also in school or picking up, wanting to pick up something new. I definitely feel like a lot of divine downloads are going to be coming towards you in the next five days. Changes. Some of you guys that are also pregnant, I feel like something like um, a baby is definitely going to be coming uh, early is what I'm getting, but I'm get, definitely getting healthy. So this can be the next five days or by the, they said 18th to 22nd of September, of October. If you guys are in your sixth to eighth month here, some of you guys are not going to go your full term, but it's perfectly fine. Your child is going to be healthy. I definitely, I'm also getting like a lot of room. Um, some of you guys, I feel like if you guys are single, a lot of you guys are realizing that you guys are not really going to spend a lot of time with people, females or males that are not emotionally um, giving you A, B, and C. A lot of you guys just need to stop giving your pussy and your dick up, period. And, may, and I said dick, and this is a female reading, like the my family, so maybe you guys can, some of you guys can be gay, bi, whatever. You guys can be straight. Whatever you do is whatever you do. But I feel like a lot of you guys are also having an introspection or you guys are looking closely at you. Like where you feel like you're going. Where you feel like you're being. Some of you guys that are definitely single, I feel like you guys may not be able to have a relationship. Or you guys are not looking for a relationship. Some of you guys are focused on your family or your money during this time. Others of you are realizing like you guys need to let go of some type of like past situation, past lover, or or um, someone who may, you may have went through a, a lot of heartbreaks, is what I'm hearing, or maybe it's like you guys were just flirting or doing things, doing things, it's like, if you're wanting a serious commitment, you know, a lot of you guys that are single are realizing like you can't keep playing the field, it's like, how, how are people going to commit to you if you're not committing to yourself, others of you are also coming to a realization like you need to let some type of like, Per picture perfect or picture go. Maybe this is like an ideal idea of self, of relationships, of partnerships. It's like it's like something is breaking down to be broken into a um, new new path. So maybe you guys are going on a new path or on a new journey here. That's gonna cause you to be. Uh, it's like protected, but maybe you guys. I'm not really sure how things are going to go. When it comes to a friendship, a job. When it comes to, like, your thoughts as well, Divine Feminine. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on, my Divine Feminine Connected. YouTube, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Mother Father, Spirit, whatever the message is. Thank you. Next five days. Next five days. For my collective. Whatever message. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you have a lot of um, purple cards. A lot of your intuition here. Strength 11 11. Something can definitely be happening on the 11th here in the next 11 hours. Okay. By September 11th as well. But I'm also going to see like a lot of courage. A lot of you guys are feeling the courage of moving forward, changing your life. A lot of you guys are choosing to change your life or you're doing things to change your life here. But this is also like courage here, right? This is also like intuition increasing, you knowing that you need to do, do things like A, B, and C, a list, write things down. But I definitely feel like there's like dream or divine download that are going to be coming towards you here. Your ancestors, your angels are also going to be 
giving you the A, okay? The world card is like things are happening with at least two. The world card things are wrapping up. Cycles are wrapping up here. The Ace of Gabriel to push you into newness. So like I said, it's like ones. One, one, one. Okay, it can be significant. Maybe you guys are seeing that one time. It's 132. Six. That's like um creation, abundance, okay? So a lot of you guys may be starting something new when it comes to a job. Maybe this is like a new opportunity that you guys were wishing for. Something can be happening to you uh, by the 11th is what I'm getting. By the 11th, by the 16th. A lot of you guys, is like you guys have grown a lot, okay, matured a lot is what I'm getting. And you guys may have new ideas, new passions here, new ways of looking at how you want to go about certain things. It's going to push you in the right direction, but I'm also getting happiness, a new light about you. A lot of you guys are also like, it's like um, realizing that you need to do things differently. Like maybe if you guys were, like get out the house, okay, maybe some of you guys are also going to get more active or it's like putting action into certain things or maybe you guys are realizing that your hard work is going to be paying off here maybe you guys had to wait 11 to 16 months okay maybe by the september 11th or 16th you're going to be finding out some type of um yes is what i'm getting like a response is yes is what i'm getting but i feel like there's also things that you can be working on within self within self like cycles are ending here but i'm also getting things that are going in your favor Okay, the World Wide Web, so maybe you guys are doing things on the internet, starting something new, breaking some type of chain, or it's like you're breaking through the internet here. Maybe a lot of you guys have been waiting for exposure. It's what I'm getting when it comes to your business, your talents, your skills, and something's going to be popping off here during this week, the next five days, and like I said, yeah. Yeah. I'm also getting a lot of you guys are also wanting to move, okay? Because the change of life, some of you guys are also contemplating changing your career, changing your field of work, okay? Wanting to move here. And I feel like there's a need for you guys to save, invest. But there's also like, um, there's going to be like a yes or something's going to go in your favor where everything's going to happen the way that it needs to. A lot of you guys can also be seeing like windfalls of money or spiritual payback for those of you that have been waiting the last 16 days, 16 weeks for money to come in. I feel like cycles have, um, like anywhere it comes to like uh, having to penny pitch or living paycheck to paycheck, I feel like there's gonna be like uh, something something that goes in your favor. Maybe you guys are looking for a job or you guys are getting some type of promotion or it's like something is gonna be also concrete is what I'm getting. I'm also getting things that you guys we have been um, asking for is going to be coming into light. So I mean, someone is definitely um, getting some type of I guess like a, a leg or a knee surgery here. It's going to also be a heart surgery. Okay. Others of you are also, also opening up your heart. Where it's like your heart is gradually being open. You're also tending to things that may be um, giving you, giving you like, giving you like thankfulness, gratefulness, or making you feel more open, more happy, more subtle, more like, like a uh, relief, that's what I mean, like a weight off your shoulders. Some of you guys are needing to stop like smoking, drinking, or overly obsessing about something or someone. I'm also thinking you guys may have manifested certain things or you guys will be manifesting certain things. It's the need for you guys to let things happen. I feel like things are coming in. Maybe you guys have met, maybe met, manifested certain things in the last 11 days, the last 16 days here, and you guys are wondering why things are going slow, but I feel like, again, things are happening unbeknownst to you behind the scenes. And now things are going to be coming. It's like September, October, November, December. Things are going to be popping off for you. I feel like a lot of you guys, it's your turn now. It's your turn, your time. Your turn, your time. Ten of Michael. New things are happening. You see how this um, spotlight is like the spotlight is going to be on you. It's like it's your turn now. It's like maybe you had to put a lot of things in the past or you may have been working with yourself the last 10 to 11 months. Last, it's like since 20, it's gonna be 2011, 2016. It's like new opportunities are also coming towards you. 10, 10 is a wrap up and then you have the world card. So I feel like things are wrapping up in your favor. A lot of new things are gonna be putting, putting forth for you here. A lot of guesses because you're doing the work. It's like growth. Like I said, maturity for a lot of you guys. 
I'm also getting a pregnancy, or a pregnancy can be changing your life, this child. I'm also getting your passions or your actions, like things that you used to do. It's like you're doing things differently here. Maybe when it comes to a project or idea. Some of you guys, it's like some of you guys are seeing your, uh, it's like growth when it comes to your, your kids or uh, this can be growth uh, between your connections, your partnerships. You guys can also be looking at your hair because I know my hair been growing a lot. But like I'm stepping, stepping up on the, stepping up on the ladder. It's showing me step, stepping up in the ladder here. Things like that. Like stepping up in a ladder. Things are, it's like a higher level, higher level of perspective. It's like you chose to go a different route for some of you guys as well. Others, others of you in the next five days, you're going to realize that you need to change certain things. Okay? That's going to put you in a better predicament. Others of you, um, some of you guys are honestly just buckling down on your savings. Saving. Saving, saving money, saving time, saving energy. A lot of you guys also are putting up boundaries. In the next five days, I feel like a lot of things are going to be popping off when it comes to your money. Or your like stability here, security. Okay. I feel like a lot of things like changes are gonna be coming towards you. Maybe this is like if this some of you guys can be having some type of surgery, or this can be a birth of an idea, birth of a baby here, a launch of something, and something um maybe it's unexpected. So maybe you guys are not expected to have this baby right now, but something's gonna happen where um, it's like, you can't, it's like, source spirit decides when the baby comes, like, yeah, he or she decides when the baby comes. A lot of you guys are being birthed with little boys, can be twins, or a little girl as well. Okay. A personal issue reaches resolution. Nothing is yet set in stone. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Step out of your comfort zone. It's time to take action. Don't let your past hold you back. Adjustments are required. Prosperity lies ahead. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So like I said, you guys are going through endings here. A lot of this is you guys taking control of yourself, taking control of your life. Realizing that it's okay to be spiritual, it's okay to be your, you know, it's okay to be yourself. A lot of you guys are also like in a space where you guys are shedding skin or shedding the old, shedding your old self, right? And learning new things about yourself, learning new things about your shadow side, working with your shadow side or your dark side, whatever you want to call it, to become a new person, to be a new person, okay? A fiery climax approaches. It's like new things is popping off left and right, like celebration, recognition, praise, or you finding more. It's like you finding more about yourself. I definitely feel like people that are older than you are also looking at you. People that, that is your age is also looking at you as well, okay? I definitely feel like nothing, like I said, things are not set in stone here. You don't know what's going to happen, but you have a feeling that everything is happening the way that it needs to balance the yin yang energy here. It's like you're feminine, you're masculine, okay? And changes are coming here to push you into where you need to be. It's like money is coming, okay? I definitely feel like you have nothing really to worry about. I feel like maybe a lot of you guys may have been having some type of issues when it comes to, uh, well, for some of you guys, I feel like they have had issues when it comes to, like, your diet, your weight, exercise, your mental, like, mental, mental, mental emotions, right? Like, your thoughts daily. And I feel like a lot of you guys may be wondering, like, why is this happening? Why am I going through this? A, B, and C, and it's like, maybe it's, it's like a need for you to see the truth here, where it's like, it's okay that you are, 
it's okay that you are growing and there's nobody around you. It's okay that you feel, it's like you're not really never alone here. Your spirit guides, your ancestors are always around you. For some of you, I'm also getting for others of you, it's like, it's okay that you had to go through certain trials and tribulations here. Because now you know, it's like, you know better or it's like, you are getting to a point where you see or you understand more about life and about how you're expected to be. It's like this life isn't about nobody else except for you making yourself happy. You know what I'm trying to say? Making your family, um, make sure that your family, your child's mother, child's father, your children are secured. Okay, that bag is secured. Like making sure that you understand that when you take action into the right, into the right way, on the right path. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys can also be realizing, like, uh, again, with the finances, like, things are changing here. Or, like I said, it's like a blessing, a blessing in the sky. Maybe you guys may have been waiting for a response or feedback, but you are going to get that this week is what I'm hearing. I definitely feel like things are going to be stabilized or secure for you. as well so let's see what's going on divine feminine what are the messages here you know when you always get on when you always get to a new path here it's always some type of bullshit or it's always people that are not wanting you to uh, 